Hey, let's. <laughs> hey, right. 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 dude, I ain't never pulled it out. I had to pull it out sometimes, baby. Right. 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 And we've been praying on you. Since 95. That on you. Nigga, whoop, nigga. WGCI, Tony Score in the Morning Right. That is the official name of the show, yes. And, uh, um, what? Yeah, uh, Fantasia is, uh, well, you know what? I'm not going to bust you out. No, I'm going to go ahead and say it, y'all. This is the first time in the history of this show that I had to use the I'm the leader of the show card. I'm going to need the first picture right. and the arm around Fantasia Lee, I was trying by to get, myself. I need y'all out. Trying to get the Fantasia picture first. I had to pull the yes, it's Tony Score. Cool. on that I one, man. I don't have no trouble, so I'm trying to, you know. Yeah, Fantasia played it smooth. She slid right over. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you are such a lovely young lady, man. We are so glad that you came up, and we are really looking forward to your album, Back to Me. Thanks, Say what's up to the people of Chicago. Let them know what's going on. Oh, and, and, man. man. Well, like I said, it's been three years, and we're back with an album. There's been a lot of things that has happened, um, you know, in between all of that. So, again, everybody knows that I, I, I use my life story as a testimony, and I put it out there to help somebody else. So we got... We got a hot album for you. Did some things with CeeLo. Um, wow, with him. Yeah, wow. I've been trying to get with him forever. And he would always say, you want to work with me? I'm like, yeah, because I love him. He's so, yeah. you know, and the, the song that we have on the album, I wanted a little What's bit. What's the name of the song? About. Raspy? No, it's Thrill is Gone. Why <laughs> Raspy? Because both of y'all got those raspy voices. <laughs> I thought it was free part two. Some people like bringing in the morning. Some people like bringing in the night. Some people like bringing in the evening. Uh, I'm a freak. So excited. <laughs> Why did you sound just like <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Fantasia, I know there's some young ladies out there, or even some uh, guys, somebody who mm -hmm. might want to get into the business and might want to follow your footsteps. What advice can you throw out there coming from your own personal experience on, you know, how to get into this thing and how to keep it moving like you have? Well, first of all, let me say that this industry is a very tough industry. And it's not like it used to be back in the days, you know. It's, it's hard to to get the record companies and to get people to, to come out and scout and try to find good talent. And you can't just walk up in the record company and walk through the door no more. You can't just drop your CDs off anymore. But it's a fight. And my grandmother always tells me, too much is given, much is required. Right. So you just have to keep fighting for it. Nothing comes easy. Anything you hear about going on in Chicago, go get on it. Um, you know, always keep something on you because you never know who you are run into. Mm -hmm. um, but just keep fighting. That's the best I can say because I know people... When people used to tell me things, I used to be like, okay, I've heard that before. Sounds, you know, it sounds good. Mm -hmm. I just, that, that's not enough for me. But all I can say is you got to keep fighting for it. All right, that's so, my girl Fantasia. I got a question for you, and I've always wanted to ask you this, because I always hear people talk about struggle. Mm -hmm. If somebody asks you, what's your definition of struggle? Because a lot of people out here say they're struggling, like trying to get into this music game. What was your, like, what was your struggle before the, before the whole... American Idol thing, everything, yeah. everything else. What was Fantasia's definition of struggle? A lifetime movie. Well, you know, and I, you played yourself in the movie. That's amazing. Right. I was like, is that Fantasia? <laughs> I couldn't stand your baby daddy. Yeah, I mean, girl, yes, uh -uh. I can't stand him. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a young mom. You know, I dropped out of school um, at a very early age and had a child at a very young age. And, you know, I come from a family. I always tell people that God is blessed and I'm still, you know, working hard to, to have. But I come from, I didn't come from a rich family. You know, we came from grits every day with just grits with bacon, grits with bologna. You know what I mean? Well, we, we made a way. Yeah, we had some bacon. <laughs> what you mean by that? We ain't had bacon. We just ate right. the grits. Yeah. <laughs> bacon? And a pad of butter was sure, a chance sure. yourself. <laughs> but we always <laughs> made a way. My mother and father always made a way out of no way. And so I always tell wow. people, you know, one young lady asked me, she kept saying, I'm going through this. I'm in and out of shelters. I'm, I'm mad at God. I said, listen, you can't wallow in what you're going through. Mm. And let that always, every time somebody see you, they say, how you doing? Well, girl, you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. You can't wallow in that. You have to sit back and figure out what it is that you're going to do to come from, you know, come from out of that that you're going through for your kids, for yourself. And, um, you know, the struggle for me is still going on. I'm still a single mom of eight years. Right. Still taking care of all of my family. It's still going on, but I don't. I don't wallow in it. I keep a smile on my face and I keep it moving. Fantasia, it's not a secret that you've gone through things with education. People, you know, calling you illiterate. You had to learn how to read again and write, whatever the case may be. Yeah. How important is it for some of these young ladies and young men to for education? education. And which, let me go ahead and clear that up. 
you know, a lot of times, this is why we're losing so many kids in school, because what we have to realize is every child is different. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't learn the same. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our kids in classrooms, when they say, okay, I don't know how to do this, but I'm afraid to lift up my hands because somebody might crack a joke or somebody might say something, so I'm just going to drop out. Wow. That's what it's ends up happening, you know what I mean? Yep. So when I came out with it, I was comfortable, and I and I know who I am, and I know where God has brought me and where he's taking me. I knew people would say things and crack their jokes, and you know what I mean? But it didn't really bother me, because I touched so many other people, mm -hmm. so many other people who were a lot older than me who went back to school. Mm -hmm. And I just got my high school diploma, and so I, I tell people, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you say, the, the proof is in the pudding. There you yeah. go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I went and got my high school diploma. I go do a lot of um, speaking and engagement, mm -hmm. engagements with colleges and and, and elementary school, middle school, high school, just letting them know that education is very, very important. You can't even work at a daycare right now without a diploma. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, that's our girl Fantasia. And we were speaking of grits and bacon, and we're about to go have some. Yes, sir. Yes. We got a VIP breakfast right here at the WGCI studios. We thank you so much for coming through thank Chicago, you. man, and kicking it with us. We love you so much. Love baby. you, too. Anytime. Cool. I still want to see that. Um... You know what? Uh, I'm about to. What, your loving back?